BBC One, Look East, with Penny Buston and Claire Bishop. Wharton in Norfolk finally ceased operations today. Established on the eve of the Second World War as a base for fighter squadrons, in the 60s it became a radar unit. Today, in a formal ceremony, military and civilian personnel paid tribute to the work of Border Radar. Good afternoon, Border Radar. Hello, London. I'm sorry, we can't take the handover. We closed at 12 o'clock Zulu. We handed our task over at 12 o'clock Zulu to Scottish and Eastern Radar. A few stray phone calls was all that was left this afternoon of what was once a busy control room. In its time, Border Radar provided air traffic control to a growing number of military, civilian and foreign aircraft over the North Sea and borders of Scotland and England, monitoring the movement and path of every aircraft and also specialising in controlling air-to-air -air refuelling. But in recent years, the number of aircraft controlled has dropped and with the withdrawal of the U.S. Air Force, three-quarters of the work has gone. What remains will now go via bases in London and Prestwick. Although Wharton has only been home to border radar for three years, it was still a sad day. For the first time in over half a century, there'll no longer be any Air Force unit operating at the base. I think probably the saddest thing of all is the fact that the town of Wharton is losing its operational station. The support that the town has given the Royal Air Force at Watton here has been terrific over many, many years, and it's very sad that today that town loses its operational station. The official farewell ceremony was timed for sunset. In a speech, Air Commodore Wood paid tribute to the skill and dedication of the unit, and also to the civilian personnel. The engineering team have provided vital backup for the unit, working with machinery that will now mostly be scrapped, Many will be made redundant, but even so, it was a day tinged with memories. We've been grateful for 27 years of employment here, and uh, we've been happy times. Uh, we've got a lot of satisfaction from looking after the equipment. As the AOC said, uh, the equipment is rather old, and it has needed careful nursing, and we've managed to do that successfully. RAF Wharton's long and chequered history will no doubt live on. And as dusk fell, four Canberra's said a poignant farewell. Formal farewell today at RAF Watton.